Here we train members on different incidents that could happen. MTA reports heavy smoke condition. People on the platform self evacuating. Engine one responded. Ladder one to command. Ahead, ladder one. We're, We're at the flushing line of IOT. Track one southbound. We need power off. It's search and rescue. They'll come from the one end of the tunnel on the platform. You just get them out there. Stop packaging that patient. Find mannequins that we have set up, and they'll package them on skeds. Ladder one to command. We're on the subway call. We have multiple victims. We're going to need help searching the platform. Transport them onto a rail cart. Why don't you go to that victim over there? And getting them out as quick as possible, at the same time being as safe as possible. It was very interesting. It was all about team building, going into a subway, and rescuing people. I thought we all did a great job at that. There were victims that uh, we had to report that back. We had to say that we needed backup. Ladder one to command. On the train cart, multiple victims need backup. 10-4, ladder one. In order to uh, recreate a real environment, we can add noise, passengers panicking, which puts additional stress on the members. Finding bodies and having them strapped up and get them out. That one's over, under. And the chaos happening around and trying to stay focused. It's a crazy experience. It's dark, there's so many people around trying to like treat this mannequin as if it was a real person. I can only imagine when a real tragedy is happening and people are screaming and freaking out. It's gotta be so, so stressful. Ladder one to command. Head ladder one. We packaged two victims and passed them off the rail car. All right, ten four. I've always had huge, massive respect for the first responders. Out of the way. But this is on a whole other level. You know, after watching Rachel do this challenge, I think that people will realize it is something that if you have the drive to do it, you can accomplish it. The other is that get a little bit better understanding of what we do. And I think that, the, that today that people will see that. And the biggest thank you to all again to our brave firefighters from coast to coast. Yes!